Hey guys, Shane here at Team Insano, and I'm bringing you a tank review or tank comparison, whichever one you want to say. So I have two two tanks here today. I have a regular Ninja 48 3000 psi. This is my this is the tank I started out with. It's a great tank. It's a little bit on the bigger side, but I play speed. I use a speedball gun, so I'm mostly like playing speedball and woods ball. So this tank just doesn't work because it puts the gun out way farther than it usually is. So it's a it's a good tank, but it's pain to try to use that as a uh, st stability. And then this is a Ninja 5045 carbon fiber. This is the tank I use now. It's a great tank. It works well for speedball. So first off, I want to say both tanks. This one's a 4500, so this one holds 45 PSI. PSI. And this one is a 3000 PSI, so holds 3000 PSI. So this tank holds more air, but if you go by these, both of these tanks, they're both great tanks. If you want a 4500 tank, but 5045 doesn't work it, work for you. They do make 48, 48, 45. I just prefer the smaller tank, so I got the 5045. So we'll start with the 3000 tank, just have a thread protector. Your standard threads with the O-rings at the top. You've got the pressure right here. You fill it up right here. You also have a thread protector. And you got regular things, whatever it is. And then with the Ninja 5045, same thing, you have the pressure right here, so you see how much air you have. And then you fill it in here. With my recommendation, if you are just starting out and you're doing a budget, budget bowler, this chain, the Ninja 3000, 48, 3000, the 3000 PSI, 48 cubic inches, this is on the cheaper side, so if you're starting out, this is a great starting tank. It's what I start with. It's a great tank to start out with, so if you're on the cheaper side, this is a great tank to use. But if you're looking to invest to get your money's worth of equipment, I suggestfully suggest if you're, um, if you like to keep your gun up close with you, I suggest getting a 50-45 because it's right here and your trigger will be right here for walking the trigger. I'll show you in a little bit. They do make different sizes for the for the 4500 carbon fiber tanks. If you're looking for something that will last and you want to invest your money into something you can really use, I really do suggest getting a 4500 tank. So those are the differences I can think of the tank. I'm going to pull out my gun and I'm going to show you the differences I'm talking about. My tip and Cronus marker. I've got the Ninja 3048 PSI tank on there. And as you can see, if you use this as a stock, it puts the gun way out there. So if you're not going to use it as a stock, you're going to try to run around like this. It's not going to work because with Steve, you're going to want to put your use, like, invest with a tank of your size. Like I, like, I like this tank, but it doesn't work for me. It really puts the gun out there. So as you can see, if you're a bigger guy and this works for you, just do whatever works for you.
now with the 45 tank. So now I have the Ninja 5045 tank on here. There is the smaller tank. And this is what I use personally because it puts the gun closer than the 348 tank. I put it right on my shoulder. It really. It's easier for me because it's right there, and it works better for smaller players. Like I'm like average height, I guess, and I prefer the smaller tank to keep the gun close to me. So that is my review and comparison on the two ninja, my two ninja tanks, the Ninja 5045 carbon fiber tank, and my Ninja 3000 PSI 48 cubic inch. So this is Shane from Team Insano signing out. I hope you have a good day. Remember, always play paintball.